the mail presentation. Oh, gosh. Uh, drag, drag the cross. Uh, hit escape. Yeah, drag it across. Take it big. There we go. Hopefully that works. Okay. Um, so our next presentation is the second in the um, um, Japanese stock assessment, and it's by uh, uh, Hayashi San, and it's talking about the future perspectives. Thank you. And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Momoko was from a development team of our project on uh, coastal stock assessment, and I was from operation team of uh, the project. And we have more than 40 uh, operation team under development team. We are branching and uh, work on specific uh, stock assessment of each species. Now I work on Japanese brew macro uh, stock assessment. In this presentation, I will uh, propose my future perspective of our work uh, from including operational aspect. Okay. Uh, now I will show you how are we doing our work now. As shown in Momoko's presentation, uh, our next generation model, uh, Phrase R, is really good software. And using this, uh, our workflow really speeded up. Uh, once we put data in, uh, results out. Uh, our operation team really happy with that, but problem is that Calculation procedure is only the small first part of our entire work. Uh, after we run program, we still have to check the program, uh, check the result and paste figures and tables into Microsoft Word and write report. And after that, we uh, pass our report to the internal review and if we found our report uh, should be revised, we back to calculation again. And then if we pass the internal review, we can pass um, our report to uh, stakeholders. Then we, our, our report put under review. And if, uh, if our report need to be revised, we uh, back to calculation again. Please note that in this workflow, we underutilize our next generation model, using it as a mere tool to calculate stock abundance. This is our next generation problem, I think. Operation team acting like over, overworking user. So to improve our uh, workflow, we operation team should work seamlessly with the development team and have self-awareness of making a big software named stock management. Uh, in short word, uh, solution for our uh, workflow is fishery stock management as software. We always think about our true customers, uh, stakeholders. Their interests are sustainable stock um, utilization and sustainable fishery business. Here are their uh, questions. How much can we fish? Is it correct? And how did you get these values? And can you recalculate with these conditions? Uh, we often give these, uh, receive these questions. So we scientists should speed up our calculation reporting cycle with 
correctness and reproducibility and flexibility. So what we need is uh, to cultivate DevOps culture to fully focus on customer's demand. So let's see uh, how will new workflow in DevOps culture looks like. First, a uh, main program and report template will add it to the system or the software. And then a team macro, uh, where I belong in now, will contribute to the software by set configuration specific to macro calculation and adding test and write report. And we push it to the development branch. We all we do all this work on Markware branch. And as same way, Team Sardine will contribute to big software. And we do all this uh, work on fish specific branch. If uh, Markware report needed to be revised, Team Markware will fix the report and resubmit to develop branch for internal review. If uh, the report passed the internal review, the report will be pushed to master branch for uh, submit to stakeholders. This is a uh, next generation code-based workflow with we operation team. Uh, the benefits are correctness and reproducibility. Then how about flexibility? We can think about flexibility from example of customer's demand. They may say, how will the stock state of macros be if we catch additional 5,000 tons in 2020? In DevOps workflow, we treat this uh, detailed demand as issue of the big software. So let's solve the, the, their demand. We got the issue at uh, master branch at, uh, review from stakeholders. In this chart, Team Macro solved the problem uh, in very um, direct manner. And this is not good because the code is too detailed. Uh, accumulation of this kind of simplistic code uh, gradually undermines the uh, flexibility of software. So what we need is to abstract the issue into more general, general function. Like uh, we have to create another branch named issue one uh, in which we create new function which allow uh, substitute the catch in EOY by X tone. Then Team Macro will assign specific value into the new function and push uh, the result to the uh, internal review. In this manner, uh, Team Sardine can benefit of the new function uh, very quickly. Uh, this is one of the benefits of functional programming. I think uh, the example is too simple and not, interested, not interesting, but abstraction is always uh, necessary for uh, software to uh, keep flexibility. Okay, I, now I present my personal opinions to focus questions. First, what is the essential feature for next generation models? My opinion is orthogonality. The meaning of this world is uh, close to independence and function with orthogonality does not affect the behavior of other functions. So this is indispensable feature of next generation model, I think. Two, 
not to be reduced as mere tool of stock calculation, and but to become essential component of big software named stock management. And I think this discussion is still, uh, already closed. <laughs> um, which is better for stock assessment project uh, to hire professional programmers or to train scientists coding. I think the best uh, solution is work together, but it does not mean we scientists don't have to study, study coding. Now I emphasize uh, the importance of the latter, train scientists coding. Because good coding skill, abstraction is always uh, important. This is universal ability for intellectual work. And scientists will uh, take advantage of this skill in every other project. Okay, I'll wrap up my presentation by proposing future perspective. Uh, to focus on uh, customer's demand, and for successful stock management, we scientists should work seamlessly in DevOps culture. I don't want to mention Dev and Ops separately, but I uh, make summary on each for clarity. What we need are for Dev, Dev, uh, dev team need need to improve their coding skill to ensure orthogonality, to make big, our big software flexible. And for ops team, we need self-awareness of making uh, big software to abstract customers' uh, detailed demand into soft codes. That's all for my presentation. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We've got some time for a couple of questions again. Okay. I've, I've got a question. Can you explain how orthogonality fits into this a bit, in a bit more detail? How orthogonality fits into? In, into the, the programming. Can you explain it in more detail, what you mean? Uh, this topic is, I think, related to the more making module of a specific, specific function, I think. Um, so, um, I express uh, the mod module programming in other words, just in other words, I think. I mean I thought this was really compelling. But I, I mean, the big software concept, I'm totally sold on that. In our lab, folks like Kelly are working in this direction, but I don't think we have articulated the vision nearly as well as you just did. I'm curious specifically with the report writing. Report writing. What, are you willing to take a moment to talk about the specific tools you're using to, to automate or make that more efficient? Now we are using Microsoft Word, but... Uh, <laughs> so, no, no, this is about the future. So, future, it's a perfect uh, future. What, what's that going to look like? Yeah. Um, yeah. Outliner, kind of markdown um, via Pandoc program. And if we uh, want more... Uh, exp mm, more decoration to uh, report, we have to use LaTeX, LaTeX, I think. And, but Markdown is uh, good, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, Jim. So, I, I, I like the diagrams showing the workflow, but I was wondering in some of those, it wasn't clear the source data. I can source see data. assigning configuration, really good for that, but compiling 
the people who are measuring the fish, writing it down or recording it, where does that process enter into this scheme? Fish data, detailed fish data, where is that? Your, uh, um, if we have to modify the data itself, it is uh, a single work, I think. So data should be included in this uh, environment as uh, plain text. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you.